Hey guys, welcome back to another episode in Gwentfar. Uh, today we are going to mow the other fields here for silage and uh, later when we row these uh, swats together then uh, we will have the, a contractor behind us with a bale wrapper. A baler with a bale wrapper. I think that's the best way to do these. Then we can keep some of the bales at the cow farm for the cows and sell the rest. And speaking of uh, selling bales, we sold uh, how many were? 45. Yeah, 45 hay bales. And that uh, if you uh, take into account the price per bale for making the 79 bales uh, that the contractor did. If you re uh, deduct that from the total amount we got paid for the, the hay bales, then we are close to 6,000. Uh, it was uh, 7 and a bit and it was 790 uh, for making the bales. Uh, so that's uh, slightly under 6,000 uh, euro income from the hail bales, which is not too bad because that means we were able to pay another installment of our loan. We still have that running. So you know from uh, if you've seen the first episode, we bought the cow yard uh, as a general place in, in the house and uh, we invested some of our own money. 200,000 and uh, we had a loan of uh, 300,000 so yeah that's uh, all paid for well not the loan I mean the last loan installment is okay we are fine there uh, we paid the contractor sold the bills and we uh, we kept a few at the sheep farm and at the cow yard. Now, for this, maybe also around 10 or 12 bales that we will keep at the cow yard. And all the rest uh, we will sell. Uh, we do need some more income. And meanwhile, I will also go and uh, talk to the bank. So we already paid back, uh, I think 30, 30 or 35,000 euro, and uh, I will ask them uh, for some more money to start the cows. I think we can grab some second-hand feed mixer. Maybe we we do need it and. Uh, we, we, we can buy some straw bales, as we don't have any straw yet. And also, I want to seed that uh, one grain field we have. I want to drill some uh, something in the ground. I was going to go for uh, a green fertilizer, like the radish. But uh, maybe we can already uh, put some real crops in just before winter with some wheat. That means that uh, next year we have uh, already a nice start with the straw. We will need to get some uh, contractor in again to uh, harvest the fields because there's no way we can pay for a harvester even even a second hand or rent it that's just all too expensive especially for one field because we only have one field but once we get that going then maybe uh, we can uh, change one of the the other fields uh, plow the grass in and uh, make it a, a grain crop field as well but we'll see about that because <laughs> by that time I'm sure uh, FS19 uh, will be there. So yeah, uh, I'll finish uh, these guys most likely offline. And while I set that, 
in real life, outside, there was just a, a New Holland combine passing by. The, the smallest one you have in game, uh, what is it, the TC something, let me check. Uh, yeah, TC 590, this one, uh, it's a local contractor in real life here that has one of these. And I can tell you, they're the smallest New Holland in the game, but they're extremely large if you see them in real life. So if you haven't ever seen a combine in real life, it's 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 high it's wide it's it's big it's huge let's put it that way just let's agree it's it's huge on the road anyway see you when we're done and when we're raking because uh i will record a bit of the raking and meanwhile while the raking you can see the contractor because uh, i'm gonna call him in that he can uh, follow us directly uh with his baler so yeah, see you then. So we're not quite rowing yet, but we're almost there. Uh, it's the last bit that I need to do for mowing. I can uh, pack up the mower and get back to the yard. Took us long enough, but uh, twice as fast as before with the signal mower so not a good spot to be pulling out here because you have totally no overview <coughs> that's something you have a lot on these British uh, roads So the contractor arrived and uh, he just had to step out for a wee but he's back now and then uh, he can uh, he can follow us after he starts his engine. And he just changed clothes but that's okay, <laughs> that's what contractors do, right? Let's see how well it works with, uh, with the round bales. On this uh, field it's quite okay. I'm uh, a bit nervous on uh, field 4. Because uh, that might give some uh, rolling bales. <laughs> Just have to, to watch the first bale whether he's uh, stopping to unload and to do the wrapping yeah, seems he did it's nice to have a contractor that knows what he's doing unlike some of uh, the workers on other youtubers farm Oh, he seems to be doing a nice job. I've chosen black wrappings. I think it has to do with, uh, with the weather. That if you don't have a lot of sunshine, then maybe black is better. Or I could be totally wrong. Could be totally talking rubbish here. So first day of autumn. means maybe we can do one more cut maybe we'll have to see and also I'm thinking of instead of plowing a grass field and putting grain in there I might be able to agree with uh, the owner of field 21 uh, if he wants to change his crops too, 
uh, this time around, then uh, maybe we can sell field 1, which is this one, and field 4 uh, to him, and uh, we can buy field uh, 29. Or we can come to some agreement that uh, instead of selling, we just uh, change up, switch up for a year or two years. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll see how that where that brings us. Should be nice to have uh, field 21. It's close to our cow yard, and then we can put some grains in there. And we already worked for the owner. Uh, remember one of the other episodes a few back. We uh, we did a job for the guy. I think we fertilized uh, that field. And I think he was happy with our job, so we should have a nice understanding. The uh, the forecast says no rain but uh, it's those clouds again and he's doing a fine job not too many bales are running off there's uh, one or two in the hedge over there but uh, the hedger hedges are capturing them so that's nice I hope it will be the same on the next uh, on the next field <coughs> and that will be the last one so if it starts to rain let's hope we can uh, wrap them in time because then it doesn't matter if, if they wrap they can uh, we can leave them in in the field So with Caesar's mod enabled, it'll take uh, a few days uh, for these to completely ferment. So we will not be able to sell them today or tomorrow. We will uh, bring a few to to the yard. But other than that, we will just have to leave them and maybe. I'll leave them in the field, but on the side of the field, the ones that we will be selling. Because there's no need to stack them at the yard, I can just uh, stack them or put them close together uh, in, in their fields. Right, here goes the last field. Also, I sold the Dooley uh, bale trailer and what uh, or rented at least least the the Brahan one uh, it's a uh, one more axle so it would be a bit more stable also fits uh, slightly more bells 20, 21 to be sure well the other one was uh, how many? Uh, if if you do them three high, because frankly four was a bit uh, too much. If you do them three high, it was six, twelve, fifteen, I think, fifteen. And the Brahan can uh, the dual axle one can uh, have twenty one. So that was a bit a bit easier to do the remaining uh, bales. Uh, Those were square bales though, so I have no idea how many round bales it can uh, it can carry. But yeah, I sold the dually and released the Braham. Better wait a bit soon, maybe uh, lower my speed. 
They don't want to get too far ahead of the contractor. So far so good. It's gonna be this part here. It's gonna be a pain if uh, if it unloads uh, a bell on, on this part. It's a pretty sight. See, he's still having the same clothes. Yeah. <laughs> I can already see some uh, bells hidden in the hedges. Yeah, like this one, here is one. But yeah, we'll just have to drive closely to the hedges and see that we don't miss any. Because we'll lose on the income. <laughs> it's a boring job, but somebody has to do it. to wait a bit soon again to uh, let him catch up it's a good thing that guy has some horsepower or he'd have some real trouble putting uh, the bailer up hell I think he has around uh, 230 horsepower And I believe that bailer requires at least 140 to run. So then you still need some to pull it uphill here. So we are now done with the rowing. And then we'll just have to wait for uh, the contractor to catch up. And then we'll wave him goodbye and thank you. Uh, we don't have to pay extra for the bills because uh, we've been paying for the contractor uh, on an hourly base, this guy. So it's a different one as the previous one. Previous one was per bill and this one is just uh, an hourly payment. Uh, so yeah, he's uh, gonna be done soon here. And then what we can do is after he is off, we can uh, take back the rig and uh, we can uh, get the Brahant trailer and start loading up these bales here and that's uh, 49 bales I have no idea for how much they <laughs> happy sheep Hello. So I have no idea for how much they will uh, sell. The hay bales were 170 and a bit, 174 I think. Uh, so these guys will hopefully go for twice or even more. And that should give us a, a nice uh, income to fund towards uh, more sheep and some cows. Maybe five or ten cows. And you probably guessed it right. It has a uh, auto load. There's no need to be ashamed to use auto load. Or maybe there is. But we all play this game for fun and not to have a, a second uh, job or anything. 
I just keep telling my, myself that. You've seen uh, an episode of me stacking. So now you can see an episode of me getting the easy way out. So these are 12 bales. So uh, that should be plenty already for the cows, right? Yeah, so let's uh, get these ones. Uh, we can take the turn here. Let's get these ones to the cow yard, and then we can have the other ones uh, in the fields. This is gonna take some uh, fiddling around. Yep, only scratched the pole once. So that's one load already done uh, at the cows. And <coughs> I've got one in the field next uh, next door. I'm just uh, running around the edges here, here so I don't uh, miss any bale. And I think we have them all over there. So that's 22 that can fit on this trailer. So we already have uh, 12 and 22. And now we just need to do the rem remainders. It's almost another 12. That's 15. So that makes a total of uh, 49, which is the amount of bills that we had in this uh, session. I'm going to uh, unload them here. I remember that this is the reset place, so that's why I'm not getting them too close to the fence over there. So. And we have <laughs> we have some runners. That's not good. Let's uh, grab them again, and these, and uh, maybe we can uh, put them over here. That's better. Alright, so uh, a short episode, I'll uh, get these things back to the yard and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for joining, hope you liked it and uh, see you soon where we will hopefully have these guys fermented and uh, either buy some cows or we'll have a chat with the other farmer to switch some fields and then we can... Uh, start getting some green crops in. So see you then. Bye bye.